humanoid robots are moving beyond controlled demos. When Engine AI first shared videos of its humanoid robot, the T-800, people noticed something immediately. The robot didn't move slowly or cautiously like most prototypes. It moved with force. It kicked hard, turned fast, and stayed balanced while doing it. Because of that, many people online didn't believe what they were seeing. A lot of viewers said the videos had to be CGI or edited. Instead of arguing online, Engine AI decided to prove the robot was real. During a public test, the company showed how strong and stable the T-800 actually is. As part of that test, the robot delivered a controlled kick to its own CEO, who was wearing protective gear. The goal wasn't to shock people. It was to show that the robot could apply force and stay balanced under real conditions. At the same time, Tesla shared a very different update. Elon Musk released new footage showing that Optimus can now run. This wasn't about strength or impact. It was about control. Running means both feet leave the ground, and one mistake can cause a fall. Showing Optimus running was Tesla's way of proving the robot is getting better at balance, coordination, and real movement. Two robots. Two different tests. One shows physical durability. The other shows controlled motion. That's what this video is about. Engine AI officially unveiled the T-800 earlier this year in China. From the beginning, the company positioned it not as a research experiment, but as a full-scale humanoid built for environments where physical stress is unavoidable. The focus was strength, balance under load, and recovery after impact rather than smooth presentation. As footage circulated online, skepticism followed quickly. Viewers saw explosive motion paired with immediate stabilization, which led many to believe the clips were edited or simulated. The consistency of the movements under force raised doubts more than excitement. Instead of responding with explanations, Engine AI chose a physical demonstration. During a public test, the robot performed a controlled strike and stabilized immediately afterward. The CEO, Zhao Tongyang, took part while wearing protective gear. The test showed that the robot's structure, balance system, and recovery logic worked together under real force. Was the CEO kick-proof of Engine AI honesty, or did it leave you with more doubts than trust? Comment below what you felt watching it. This moment wasn't meant to promote aggression. It was used to settle one question, whether the robot's performance was real. Tesla first revealed Optimus in 2022, and the early version was clearly experimental. Tesla never presented it as finished or production ready. From the start, the goal was long-term usefulness rather than short-term performance. Since then, Tesla has taken an incremental approach. Optimus has been trained inside real Tesla facilities, repeating tasks over extended periods. The focus has been reliability, safety, and improvement through repetition. Instead of pushing strength limits, Tesla has focused on collecting operational data and refining behavior through updates that can be shared across the entire fleet. Later updates showed Optimus performing controlled martial arts style movements. These clips weren't about combat or power, they were about balance, coordination, and full body control. Then came the update that changed how Optimus is viewed. Tesla released footage showing Optimus running inside its lab, with both feet leaving the ground and the robot maintaining balance through each stride. Elon Musk confirmed the update publicly. Running matters because it compresses multiple challenges into one motion. Balance, coordination, impact control, and recovery. This update aligns with Tesla's Gen 3 Optimus direction, focused on efficiency, stability, and long-duration operation around humans. Optimus running wasn't a stunt. It was proof that the system had crossed a real control milestone. Now let's look at capability in the right context. The T-800's kick was not meant to impress. It was a durability and control test designed to show how the robot behaves when sudden force is applied. The robot can generate around 450 newton meters of torque at its joints, allowing high force movement when required. What mattered wasn't the strike itself, but the recovery. The robot absorbed the force and remained stable without corrective motion. The T-800's 165-pound frame, built with aircraft-grade materials, adds stability under load. Active cooling systems allow the robot to operate at maximum output for up to four hours, ensuring performance does not degrade during sustained physical tasks. Optimus is validated differently. Tesla doesn't test Optimus through impact demonstrations. The key milestone for Optimus is control, and running represents that clearly. When a humanoid runs, both feet leave the ground, and a single mistake leads to a fall. Optimus running shows that balance, coordination, and recovery have reached a level suitable for real-world work. The T-800 is validated through stress and durability tests. Optimus is validated through control milestones like running. One robot proves it can handle force. 
The other proves it can manage motion safely. Engine AI needed a public mic drop. Tesla proves Optimus with quiet factory reps. Let me break down the movement systems. The T-800 performs high-speed kicks, rapid pivots, and impact recovery using gyroscopic tracking systems and advanced feedback loops. The robot features 360-degree LiDAR and stereo cameras for environmental awareness. When the T-800 delivers a spinning kick, tracking systems provide real-time feedback for balance control. The robot recovers from impacts instantly, adjusting its center of gravity without losing stability. This is stress-ready movement designed for high-intensity scenarios where the robot might face sudden impacts or rapid direction changes. Optimus focuses on smooth walking and now running with a stable gait built for long hours. That running ability required breakthroughs in balance and coordination. Running means managing momentum, handling both feet leaving the ground simultaneously, and sticking landings without losing balance. In October, Musk posted Optimus practicing martial arts moves beside a trained athlete. It's quick proof that Optimus can copy complex motion after watching and training. The moves look less explosive than T-800, but that's the point. Repeatable control for everyday work. The T-800 is built for stress-ready movement. Optimus is built for routine-ready movement. Now let's talk purpose, because this determines everything else. T-800 is built for rough, high-stress jobs where things can get physical. Engine AI is positioning the robot for extreme physical demands, where explosive power and sustained high-intensity operation are critical. The company is even planning robot fighting tournaments as part of its long-term strategy. This is a robot built to operate in environments where things might get rough. Industrial sites with heavy machinery, security scenarios requiring physical intervention, or experimental applications where peak physical capability matters. Optimus is designed for factories, warehouses, and repetitive work. Tesla wants the robot to integrate safely into existing work environments where humans are present. Optimus handles practical everyday tasks like sorting items, moving objects, and performing assembly work. Sure, some demos show a long pause, like Optimus is thinking for 30 seconds just to grab a tool. But the big deal is where it's happening. Real factory conditions, not a perfect stage. T-800 is built for extremes. Optimus is built for everyday work. Both matter. Optimus doesn't show power, it shows control. Does that make it safer or smarter than we expect? Comment below what you feel. Here's where power and endurance create another major split. T-800 runs hard for about four hours, using swappable packs built for non-stop work cycles. Most humanoid robots degrade as batteries drain, but the T-800's active cooling system maintains consistent output throughout the battery cycle. Engine AI designed the T-800 for demanding work requiring full capability, even if that means shorter operating windows. Optimus goes the other way. Optimus stays light and efficient, running for hours on one charge, built for steady factory work. This is the kind of robot meant for long factory shifts, consistent, reliable, and safe around people. That matches Tesla's style in general. Focus on making the battery last and keeping performance stable over time. The T-800 prioritizes performance, maximum capability for shorter durations. Optimus prioritizes duration, consistent capability for longer periods. Control is where these robots split hard. T-800 is built like a robot you can drive. A human can take over remotely when things get risky, then hand control back once the job is stable. An engine AI treats T-800 like a toolkit. Teams can add custom behaviors, plug it into their workflow, and experiment fast. Under the hood, it packs serious onboard compute so those custom features can run in real time. In other words, T-800 isn't just a finished worker, it's a platform for companies that want to build their own robot edge without waiting on a software stack. Tesla plays a different game. Optimus is meant to learn a job, then do it alone. No joystick, no custom coding for every move. Tesla trains Optimus the same way Tesla trains driving. Watch, learn, repeat. When one Optimus improves, Tesla can push that upgrade to every Optimus. That's how the robot gets better fast. The T-800 is an experimental platform where companies can customize, adapt, and develop specialized applications based on their specific needs. Optimus is a worker robot where Tesla handles the AI development, and customers deploy the robot for specific tasks without requiring custom programming. Here's what it all means. The Engine AI T-800 shows what peak robot strength looks like. The company designed a robot capable of explosive movements, sustained high-intensity operation, and physical force that can genuinely cause harm. The CEO kick demonstration proved the T-800 isn't just marketing hype. The robot is real and powerful. 
Tesla Optimus shows how robots will work daily. Tesla designed a robot for practical tasks in real-world environments where safety, efficiency, and reliability matter more than peak performance. The running demonstration and martial arts capabilities prove Optimus is becoming more capable with each update. The robot is already performing real work inside Tesla factories. These are different paths toward the same future, a world where humanoid robots handle physical tasks humans currently perform. Engine AI is proving robots can handle extreme physical demands. Tesla is proving robots can integrate safely into existing work environments. Neither approach is wrong. Both are necessary. The T-800 represents the cutting edge of robotic capability, raw power, explosive performance, engineering that prioritizes maximum physical output. Optimus points to a calmer future, robots that quietly work beside humans, day after day. Different philosophies, different strengths, same endgame. Humanoids becoming everyday tools, not lab experiments. We're watching it happen right now. The CEO kick happened. The running footage dropped. These aren't concepts anymore. They're functioning robot. And that future, it's looking pretty robotic.